Hi, I'm Mike Pitex, Director of Corporate Finance, O'Keefe. Imagine new client development for asset-based loans in the Midwest for a large regional bank over the last 13 years. I witnessed a waxing trend where direct client sourcing and execution of a financing transaction moved away from me in my single product role to a professional advisor in a corporate finance focused practice. I began my career in asset-based lending in the early 90s with GE Capital and its training ground auditing secured loan collateral. Then, most of the CNI lending practices at finance companies or banks were operated with a direct corporate and a lesser extent sponsor focus as the private equity market was in a less developed stage at that time. New business development officers cultivated relationships directly with prospective clients, C-suites, and private equity deal sponsors. Middle market CFOs or PD Deal teams typically ran their own sourcing process, calling their close-knit lender contacts when they had a financing need or possibly had a turnaround advisor aiding in this process if the situation was challenged. When I joined Citizens Bank, asset-based lending was conducted in a siloed business line with more flexibility around the deal structure. Like all money center banks and most large regionals, ABL became a product set within the capital markets group and more templated structures subject to growing regulatory requirements imposed on banks since the Great Recession defined our lending criteria. Banks during this period also acquired or built up their investment banking practices and shifted direct client coverage to in-house corporate finance teams focused on industry verticals or sponsor finance practices catering to the specific needs of the sponsors its practice covers plugging in appropriate product partners such as ABL into the situation. Independent corporate finance practices focused on capital raising began to spring up or grow out of middle market investment banks and turnaround consulting firms that maintained or are referred into the client and sponsor relationship. And now arrange and place capital with the most appropriate funding sources, independent of any one bank or private credit fund. Additionally, with the exit of G Capital and other captives from the market and a huge flow of private funding into traditional ABL and sponsor finance space, there's a much larger universe of potential direct lenders and relationships that the corporate suite or the PE portfolio executive has to manage. This trend became amplified during the pandemic as corporates retreated from broad lender connecting and went home or virtual. The shift ultimately coaxed me from the role in which I served as a product partner at the bank to building a corporate finance practice where I've reinserted myself as a a trusted advisor to my long-term corporate clients and private equity relationships, serving them as their capital advocate, structuring, sourcing, and closing on financings for acquisitions, refinancing, growth, recaps, and turnaround situation. The financing strategic advisory community has always worked closely together and special situations where recapitalization is necessary to affect the turnaround of a strained balance sheet in conjunction with a corporate restructuring.